In this video, I'll show you how to set up your launch key in Cubase and give you an overview of the functions on the launch key. Connect your launch key to your computer using the provided USB cable. Open Cubase and go to Studio, Studio Setup, and press the plus in the top left corner and choose Mackie Huey. On a PC, select MIDI IN 2, Launch Key Mark 3, under Input, and select MIDI OUT 2, Launch Key Mark 3, under Output. On a Mac, ensure that Launch Key Mark 3 door port is selected for input and output. Finally, select MIDI Port Setup from the left hand menu and set this Launch Key Mark 3 port to be inactive by clicking the blue cross under In All MIDI. Your Launch Key Mark 3 is now ready to use with Cubase. You can use the pads to control mute and solos. You can hold down shift and use the bottom row of pads to control the pad mode. By default, you can use the pots to control pans. You can hold down shift and use the top row of pads to set the pot mode. If you're using a launch key 25 or 37, you can select volume to control the track volumes. If you're using a launch key 49 or 61, you can use the faders to control track volumes. You have a range of transport controls along the bottom row here, and you can also use the undo function on the top row. If you're using the launch key 49 or 61, you can use the track buttons to either record arm tracks or select tracks, and you can toggle between these two functions using the arm select button.